Okay. And that brings us to another rest. So, again, just uh, get all your stuff back, all your lifeblood back, and prepare for the next boss rush. I like that they have these little uh, things you can do. I didn't. Uh, I don't think I talked to him the last time. Sleeping God, we can barely feel thy presence among the green left behind. What strength thee once possessed fades beyond time and tune. Oh, okay. That's fine. All right, so these guys are not in the order that you're used to. About halfway down, when the stuff's coming into them, if you wait just a second, you can then get uh, the soul. See, so wait till now to do it. I did it too early. Um, so you have to wait till about half of it's gone. And uh, then you can get yourself a uh, an extra boost of soul. If you can get both of these guys on one side of you, you can uh, release soul into them and uh, make them sad. So, also if you can focus on, you know, if you have a choice, go after the one that uh, has the most damage so you can kind of work through the process quicker. Darn, I meant to uh, do these right there. Yeah, hey, hey. How, how, how. Now, for healing, once there's just one of them, Try to let them do a roll like that. You can jump over to the middle and get a heal in. So like this, you have time for your heal. And so that's a good way to refuel if you have any soul that you want to use um, for, for healing purposes. And then you can kind of just ticky-tack at them. Don't use any spells to shoot them unless you're really, you know, like, get rid of these guys. Because they do suck. The Watcher Knights are, like, not a happy, friendly crew. For, these, for this one, you want to jump all the way up here in two well-timed jumps and then get your uh, your dream nail ready. And uh, right as it pops up, you're like, surprise, I'm here to hit you with a dream nail. Okay, I really wanted to hit him, but uh, I couldn't. I think if I just shoot across, I'll get him. Ah, uh, I couldn't. All right. This is a safety platform I have, and Umu is actually kind of a refuel boss for me. So, send him. Ay, 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 ay. I thought I could fit that guy right up underneath. But these are the platforms I just return to. And so, if it's that, I just dash away real quick. And um, if it's the other one, I just slide across. And go through the whole map. Man. Keep missing my opportunities to get Umu. I will. But, um. I'm just barely, barely missing it. Okay, not gonna miss that one, though. And I'm gonna pop it right again. And go back to my little, uh, safety place. Okay, so that gives you enough time, I think, to warp to the wall, that particular attack. That one just means, hey, more jellies are on the way. And this last one is when you actually have to get running. That's the one that bothers the most. And pow. Now, I have an opportunity. I'm going to stand right here and hit that for some soul. And I can't do it again, but that's okay. Okay, so this is our our second new triggered boss. This is kind of an entirely different fight. While the Sisters of Battle was uh, definitely a more advanced fight that you had seen before, um, this one's entirely different. It's the Nosk except for the flying version. So you step up, and Hornet's like, whoa, oh... She ate some bad rice or something. I don't know. And um, so what you want to do is you jump and pogo. And as you come downward, you want to do it to where you can uh, hit him two times. Like right there, I'm getting like two hits out of him. And 
it, it's harder than I'm. I'm real familiar with it, but it's uh, as he spits this stuff out. Um, you basically have to if you stay close to him. It seems easier to me to to uh, to avoid it. It goes into the ceiling. You can just try to move out of the way, or you can do a desolate dive. I did both of them in that fight, and doing a desolate dive gives you some iframes to adjust so you know where to go, but it does use up some soul in order to do so. All right, also in that last fight, prioritize those little balloon things. You wanna make sure you get them. Now it's Sly, and if you haven't seen me fight Sly before, I'm all about the great slash with Sly. If he does that dive attack, don't run away completely. You want him to commit to that other slash so you can have the opportunity to hit him. I wasn't quite close enough, and he made me pay. All right. Uh, you know, Sly's very fast, and um, he has a very long range for how big he is, but he's very predictable because his... Uh, if he doesn't break off in the middle because you're too far away, he has to go through that whole ability, and um, you, so you know exactly where he's going. What? Okay, I really thought I was out of range on that. See how he didn't actually finish? That was because I was uh, too far away from him. Okay. You can either heal right here or get one more great slash in. Stand at this little thing. So basically one-fourth of the distance of this uh, lower area. And when he comes in, you'll uh, step, you'll dash away and then jump back in. Or go to this one. These simply are the best because they telegraph how he's advancing after you. And so, nice job, dude. You can go ahead and dream nail him at that point to get some soul. And it is good to have soul for Hornet. I don't know why they changed the uh, the pattern from the Pantheon. You know, in the Pantheon, you have to fight her first, and then you have to fight Sly. But it's reversed now. So, okay, Hornet. Now, for her, you, you want to just ticky-tack away at her. And... Um, it, basically, I, I stand in the corners and I use pogos as she comes in. Oh, she's going to be a pain. And when she does those things that come in, I usually try to clear them all with a shade blast across. And if I hit her too, that's great, but I'm mostly trying to clear them. Because it can just really mess up your, uh, your playing area. Okay. All right, still got her, just basically because she jumped into it. All right, just getting one hit at a time. Pow, she's gone. So the, the one hit thing does pretty well. You just, you don't want to get trapped. She she comes at you so much that um, you, you want to make sure your playing area is not all muddied up by those little spiky spikes. So again, we're at a bench. Feel free to rotate anything out. Get, get your health back, get your lifeblood up, hopefully at least three of them, and then off you go. All right, this guy's a whole lot like his first version. You just dash through. Ow. I knew it was, no, it was really going to be hard to get away from him. He's in a bad place because I can't dash through him now. Yeah. That's good. He managed to clean out a lot of those lifeblood, but that's okay. We're going to be all right. Now is the lost kin, and try to just get, like, one, two hits, and then focus on getting these balloons out of the way because um, that is what can just absolutely start to get to be a really big pain here. I, and I am not doing a good job of it yet. Pow, pow, balloon time, and I'm going to get a single heal in, and that's good. 
Now, after this fight in the other pantheons was No Eyes, and No Eyes gave you an opportunity to heal up, but now No Eyes has a different map, and, and No Eyes' map now is not nearly as conducive to getting some heals in. So, No Eyes isn't super difficult, but she's definitely not the pushover that she's been before. I'm going to try for a heal. All right, I got it. Okay. If you know you're not going to stagger him, um, it's a it's a good idea to use your soul on him. But, uh, okay. So that wasn't a great fight, but um, we got through. Just try to ticky-tack at him, get the balloons. And uh, so here we are in the new map. I try to stay right here. And uh, attack with great slashes uh, from this particular point. So I jump up like I just did. I will also do a big jump here and then just fall back down in this corner. I don't really go for her very far right there. I, I don't follow her real, or, you know, real far. See, that was me overextending myself right there. You can definitely get some heals in some. But uh, it's it's certainly harder because there's not like a safe place that I know of um, in order to not get hit by these dumb ghosty ghosts. If she appears directly on that side and you have a clean go of it, you can shoot across like that. And there's also a place that she goes on. Yep, right there. Thank you, no eyes. And you can uh, blast her that way. Okay, but I'm just going to keep doing... Um, Mostly these uh, great slashes. I think she's pretty close to done. There's just a lot of ghosties going. And the closer she is to dying, the uh, more ghosties there are in the map. So she's dead. Now it's the Traitor Lord. If you have a soul blast, or uh, like a any soul, step up to the edge of the flowers. Hit it with an abyss shriek as he comes down. Pow, pow. You're going to hit like twice. Back up and use your, your dash through. Pow, pow, back up, go. Pow, pow, back up, go. Pow, pow, back up, go. So it's just that, and then you'll still have to step back, even when they do the pound on the ground, um, because the uh, Trader Lord will adjust his posture sometimes and just, just step up into you. Though it'll only take away one mask um, instead of his standard two. You don't want to get hit, so try to back up. Now, the White Defender is definitely more difficult than um, the Dung Defender. Step away, just try to come back and forth. But uh, you, you can do this. Dash through that, and he's here for an Abyss Shriek. And I'm going to step back into the corner and get a heal in. Uh, don't have really good opportunities for hitting him. He's got me in the corner pretty good. Make him pay for it with some Abyss Shrieks. Alright, so he's going to um, jump down into the ground. Just come up right next to him. An Abyss Shriek. Okay, he already jumped in and kind of landed on me. Yep, step away and just kind of rotate back and forth when he's throwing and you're close to him. We got him into his final phase. Something to keep in mind where he jumps out. That's kind of a, um, he's not going to jump out in the exact same place twice. So that's, that's good. Yep, you're almost dead. Step away, back to him. And he's toast. Thank you so much. Thanks for playing. Okay. Fuel back up. A little, little hot tub playtime. And, uh. Get your lifeblood, and let's go. Where's my other lifeblood? Okay. There it is. I've had it glitch before and not give me all of them. And I was like, no, I need them. It was towards the very end, and uh, I definitely did need them. Okay. Oh, tragedy. This majestic god evades our attunement with such ease. We live only to serve the gods, to seek them out. Why does she frustrate us? How does she hide from us? Does she diminish herself by choice? I don't know what that means. I don't know if they're talking about me or... Well, I don't know. 
Alright, so Soul Tyrant time. Okay. I don't know why I'm just standing around, but uh, Soul Tyrant's a whole lot faster than the Soul Master. But you got this, you can do it. Just. Alright, you can jump and dash through and then release a um, blast there in the middle. Is a chance to heal, so that's good. And uh, really try to, to make sure you don't dash into them on the bottom level. Sometimes that's how I've uh, gotten a frustrating hit. I run all the way this way and then warp back. And then there's safety for a heal here in the middle. Pogo and try to hit him again, but rarely do. Unless you have a longer nail, like a mark of pride. Okie dokie. So, pokey, pokey. Alright. And coming across. If you're up in the air, you know, just kind of like activate your, uh, your double jump to give you some more time to uh, adjust to either his fake out or, or whatever. Alright, he really likes to come from that direction. Now in a second as he enters this final phase, you're going to want to jump and um, keep jump dashing back and forth, basically right between the two rows of observers. He will do it somewhere, so I'm charging up my charge shot, somewhere between six to ten times. One, two, three, four, five, six, so could pop any time. Seven. All right, I'm going to step aside and do abyss shrieks okay doki that one when I dashed it didn't uh, harmlessly pass into the floor so I, I couldn't do my abyss shriek now this is probably one of the very hardest parts is dealing with this boss and not just him alone but Marcos new map absolutely sucks and um so dealing with Markov and the following Zote fight is really can be challenging. So you may have Markov down, you may have Zote down, but having to deal with them back to back with this particular map is really challenging. So I try to deal with um, him with great slashes and dash slashes like that. And now when he uh, pops his other phase, and you really just need to look for these dumb things, these dumb spears that are coming at you, until he does his little thing, what he's doing right now, and then I try to just really lay into them with the soul blast. And now I'm out of soul, so it wasn't enough, but uh, we almost, it was almost enough. So I try to have a whole lot of soul and um, to to deal with that part of the phase because it's really the hardest part. Okay, so here we are against Zote now. And you know, try to get a couple hits, step away from Zote, and maybe one more hit. When you pogo him like this, try to uh, take a little longer in the pogo. Darn. And um, you can end up hitting him for more. Okay, Zote. A lot of times he does two, and then the third one, like he just did, is his fall through the floor. Now, it's not always consistent, but um, many times it is. I'm going to go ahead and desolate dive to escape the balloons, um, and uh, him, like, erratically throwing himself on me. All right, and Pogo, Pogo. Ah. Oh. Okay, Zoda's out for the count. Tickle fight. <laughs> Alright, bye-bye. Zoda's a pain, a pain, a pain, pain in the butt. If you can get here and get a, a um, one of those abyss, uh, abyss shrieks in, it helps a ton. And then you basically use that um, jump away dash to him pattern. And... Now, do, do not freak out. He may take all 
of your masks, but if you have one health and get him to this point, use it to hit him and dream nail. Hit him and heal. Hit him and dream nail until you are all caught back up with all your masks and all your soul. And then you're going to trigger him to get back up by hitting him on the head a couple times. You'll try to get two abyss shrieks on him, dash to the wall, and then hit him with your, your shade. So pow, pow, pow. Hit him with one, hit him with two, dash away, shoot him, shoot him, and he's down. That's okay, it's not a great efficient use of soul, but if he's back down on the ground and you can do whatever you want to with him, then you just refill back up and do it again. So, which is exactly what we're going to do, wake him up, I'll wake him up before you kill him. And there he goes, back down to the ground, ow. Man, that was dumb of me. But, anyway. Now, he's not going to get back up because this is his third time. So I'm going to go ahead and finish him off. And then dream nail his little shell thing to make sure. Come on, dream nail it. Don't be silly. And it's now time for Nightmare King Grim. And it's good that you have a refuel right here. You know, quick statement. As Nightmare King Grim appears, it's not always the case. But he usually dashes at you first. That, yeah, it wasn't. Thanks, Grim, for making me a liar. Um, so, this is what you do. You kind of ticky-tack forward, dash through, and hit him with an abyss streak. He hates it. Um, okay. So, a lot of what he does is just the faster, more powerful version of the first Grim. If you can let the first bat fly over and then dash towards him, um... You're, you're good to go. This, do hop up in the air. This is a time to heal. See, I had time for it. Just kind of step forward. And I would have given him an abyss streak, but uh, didn't have the time because he, he got hurt and flew off as a silly little bat boy. All right. He's about to go to a puffer fish, I think. Yep. And if you can be ready for it and get the feel of about how much health he has before he has to turn into that you can unleash one of those on him. And he's a sad little sad boy. Okay. Okay, yes, yeah, stagger, stagger. Hit, dash through, abyss, shriek. Hit the little red bat. Or you can get three heals in if you're quick. So healing when at the bat phase and healing as he dashes through you. And you just you go through and you, you step just a little bit. Um, those can be very critical. So right here and healing, those are uh, very critical for getting through these fights. Stagger, stagger, dash through, abyss shriek. And he's toast, he's toast. We did it, we did it. Okay, so he's dead. Really nice, nice. We can do this. Now sit in the cool, cool water. Um, that's good. And then we're going to jump over here, and we are going to um, get our new, um, whatever the crud this is, lifeblood. And we're going to go in and we're going to fight the pure vessel. Now, something I may forget, as we play the pure vessel, when you get done, if instead of kind of the impulse in a whole lot of this, because you may not have all your health, and you'll, if you beat him, you get to fight the absolute radiance for trying to finish the Pantheon of Hellenist. And um, you will get to keep all the soul you have for the fight, you know, whatever it ends the fight on. and But whatever your health is, it's completely restored for the beginning of the fight. So don't use it to heal because you'll want the soul to um, for the fight. Hopefully that makes sense. So if you, if you if you have only like one mask left, it's okay. Don't heal because it'll be granted back to you just at the start of the fight. So pure vessel time. I'm going to read this first. Even long departed, we feel the afterglow of the god power that sat this throne. It lays heavy upon this kingdom. That lingering power alone was beacon enough to draw us to Hallownest. How bright it must have been to a mortal bug stood before it. Okay, cool. That's my throne. That's my dad. Okay, so if you haven't seen my tutorial on him before, 
you want to jump away and um, and it dis decide what he's doing. Yeah, I go ahead and jump. I go ahead and jump, and then I adjust to what he's going to do. Uh, uh, right after that. Okay. Pow pow. Pow pow. Whoa. So okay, let's get two hits in. If you're hurt, get yourself a single heal in. Pow pow. Alright, if he's doing that attack, I typically do not double jump as I see that. I try to jump in from the edge and then jump away if he puts that second orb on top of you. Um, kind of like I just had to, but a lot of times you don't, uh, you don't have to. Alright, when he does this, I do follow it up with a desolate dive. Sometimes that gets me in trouble. But, um, that was a close one for me. Alright, he's close to toast. See, it almost gave me trouble right then because I was, I was grounded and I wasn't going to have the time to react to what he did. So again, right here, do not heal back. If you're hurt at all, do not heal back. So, I'm going to have to have a specific video on, um, the Absolute Radiance. But, um, so there's a lot going on. And one of the things that's hardest about the Absolute Radiance is it'll run you into other other attacks. So it has, like, an attack coming in a particular direction, and then it tries to run you into it. So I'm going to go ahead and jump up. And, uh, coming across. Something just weird happened on my screen, so I hope this is still working. All right. these little beams just step away from them this is not an easy boy fight he's a pain in the butt but um so yeah I just walked right into that that was good and I've lost my uh, masky masks but that's okay we're gonna get him okay we're gonna heal twice All right, and hippity hopping up here. I come to this platform right here, just uh, just hoping. I mean, it's, it's just a guess, and and who knows where he's gonna go? But he could be there, and if he is there, I'll be I'll be wailing on him. Okay, he got me. All right, I am struggling now. I'm gonna get some heals in, and dash through. Okay, this will give me another place to heal. Alright. He usually doesn't put those, like, right on top of you. That was a little cheater of him. Get my other heal in. I'm going to do a desolate dive to make sure. Give me a little bit of, of leeway. Shoot him once. And, uh, yeah, he warped away. So now we go up the stairs, and this is my least favorite part of this fight. Going up, 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 up the stinking stairs. And, um, yikes. It's so much faster to shoot you. And there's one more um, section of the fight than what the uh, original Radiance had. I just stay here and drag these uh, things off into space. And sometimes you have to dash outward, um, away, like right now, if it's in certain places, but, uh, right now. And otherwise, I just pogo him and hit him when he's on the side. And I think he's done. Alright. So we did it. And you get to turn into, like, this sick void monster thing. You're, like, the embodiment of void. And now you get to attack and be, like, chaka chong chaka chong superpower. Voodoo bang bada pow And it really does feel good to be, like, I hate you because I practiced on you for so long until I get to totally swat you and just, like, smash you to pieces. And that's, that's really fun. 
It really is. So there is that. Um, and you will get the uh, with that defeat, you will get the embrace the void achievement. So that's good. Um, there's also one more achievement that you get, and this is like the the true and final ending of the game. And since you've gotten the flower, no wait, you haven't gotten the flower yet. We're gonna do that, we'll do that later. But um, it, it looks a little different if you've done the flower quest where you've taken a flower to the god, whatever that thing is down there in the junk pit. Now you might get, um, after doing that, if the, uh, if the Embrace the Void was your final achievement, you will get the uh, Pure Completion achievement. Now, if it's, whenever you get your final achievement, that's when it happens. Now this is going to cut off in like 30 seconds because this whole video has been an hour. And I'll probably break it into two parts. But, um, so I may cut away. But uh, that's been great. Uh, I really love this game. It's super exciting to beat it like that. It makes me excited for future games. Thank you so much for following along. If you have any questions, I'll try to answer them more specifically. I'll try to have some boss fights that are um, specifically the new things in Hollow Nest. All right. Give me a like. Give me a subscribe. I'll see you next time.